fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're here in Boston, Massachusetts for the don'ts of visiting Boston. And the thing is, is I think it's important that I bring this up right from the beginning, even though I'm sitting here in Boston Common, in Boston, I really have to tell you, don't think Massachusetts is just Boston. Yes, Boston is super awesome with the great sports that are here, the historic sites. I mean, this is the birthplace of America, really. You really feel it when you are here, but the whole state has so much to offer. Whether you're gonna go to the Cape, or you're gonna go to the Vineyard, or you're gonna go out to the Berkshires, you're gonna explore so much when you're here. And, and you're gonna, I mean, we spent you know time in the Berkshires and the mountains in Western Massachusetts and at the towns that are there and the, the hikes that are there and the mountains, it's just, it's just gorgeous. Or you're going on the coast. I mean, there's so much more to see and do than just doing Boston. I mean, do Boston. I mean, don't skip out on Boston, but don't think this state is only Boston. And, and going with that, I, I think another thing I need to tell you is don't say things wrong when you visit here. Cause you'll see like, you'll see one thing and then people pronounce it a different way and you're not really sure where you're supposed to be going. I mean, yeah, I know people talk about Worcester and, and how that's spelled versus how it's said, but it's not just that. You know, there's there's Cape Cod, which is gorgeous to go to and spend your summers on and vacation there. But you don't say Cape Cod, you say the Cape. Martha's Vineyard when you're there. You don't say Martha's Vineyard, you say the Vineyard. So you need to know these things. Dunkin' Donuts, it's just Dunkin'. The Berkshires, it's not Berkshire. This is not Lord of the Rings, it's the Berkshires, okay? So you, you think about this, you're like, wait, how it's said can be a bit different than what you expect. You know, we have friends that live in Swampskit, which which you would really look at and say Swamp Scott, but no, it's, it's Swamp Skid. Okay, so <laughs> just realize this. Don't be surprised if what you spell and what you say don't really add up when you're here in Massachusetts, okay? And, and I know I mentioned Dunkin' before, but I also think it's kind of important that you don't diss Dunkin' Donuts when you are here or don't diss Dunkin' because people really do love Dunkin' here. I mean, I've seen tons of jokes about it, but it is everywhere in the state. And it'll be in a historic building. It'll be in a mall. It'll be in a, you know, by a gas station. It'll be all over the place. So if you're a tourist and you're not sure what to get for breakfast or maybe your hotel, your inn doesn't have breakfast, guess what? Duncan is just around the corner to help you out. So grab some munchkins and have yourself a good start to the day. But 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 really don't diss Duncan. They don't like that. So another don't I have for you is when you do come here to Massachusetts is don't forget to brush up on your history. Not just U.S. history, but a lot of history because this state is full of historic sites. Yes, you can come here to Boston and you can see really the birthplace, the American Revolution. You know, one if by land, two if by sea. Yes, that church, that's here. You can walk the Freedom Trail, these red bricks you go down, you see cemeteries and churches and historical buildings that you're like, wait, I learned about these in my history books. Yes, that's here in Boston, okay? but. The history isn't just in Boston. You can go to Plymouth, you know, Plymouth Rock. You can go to Salem, the Salem Witch Trials. You can see that. Go out to the Berkshires, the museums they have there in the individual towns will really teach you a lot. And, and you're gonna see there's historical markers throughout the state. Famous people that you've heard of, and you know, Susan B. Anthony or, or Johnny Appleseed, they're from here, right? And so you have spots that mark that. So the history of the US, you can learn a lot about it when you're here. And some of it's newer history and fun history. You can go to the Basketball Hall of Fame. Yep. That's in Springfield, Massachusetts. You can go check that out. Norman Rockwell, if you loved him, they've got a museum about his work in Stockbridge. I mean, there's a lot of history you can take in when you are here. And so if you brush up a little bit before you come, it really gives it much more of an impact. But if you don't, don't worry, you'll still get a lot out of it. Now, my next don't for you is when you're thinking about coming here to Massachusetts, don't forget to book your accommodation early, okay? If you're gonna come in the summer or in the weekends in the spring and fall, they book out way in advance. So make sure you're planning ahead by booking ahead way ahead okay if there's big events you want to be here in boston for saint patrick's day book way ahead all right so i want to get that one out there because that can cause you a little financial strain if you're not booking on time and i think going along with that is don't worry if you don't find a lot of chain hotels or chain restaurants when you're here to stay at or, or to eat at because massachusetts i mean the people have a lot of local pride and they have local pride in their restaurants and their inns and their bars and their pubs and their ice cream shops and their clam stands i mean they love they're Massachusetts and they support those businesses. So if you're looking for restaurants, ask where the locals go. It's gonna be someplace different than you've heard of. And so take that advice and go. And if you're looking at places to stay, what I recommend is find the town you wanna to stay in. If there's not a you know, Hilton or Holiday Inn, I mean, that, that's probably normal. Go into Google, zoom in and see what ends pop up, what motels pop up and contact them directly. That's gonna get you some of those cool historic spots. 
Now, my next dome for you is when you're out exploring Massachusetts, and I don't care if you're driving around Boston, which I hope you're not, but if you are, or you're in the Berkshires and you're driving around or, or anywhere throughout the state, don't pass up a parking spot. Don't look for the perfect parking spot because you're not going to find it because there are no perfect parking spots. Parking in Massachusetts is a little difficult and it doesn't matter where you are. I mean, look, this state developed before the car, okay? So they weren't really planning out for a good place for a parking deck, okay? So if you see a spot, you're driving through the Berkshires, you're driving around, you're like, oh, this looks like an okay spot, just take it. You're out on the vineyard, yeah, just, just take that spot. It's fine, you can walk a bit farther because most likely you're not gonna find anything better. So don't pass up those parking spots. And when you're driving around, I gotta tell you, don't let the mass holes get you down. Look, I like the people here in Massachusetts, they can be a good time, but when they start driving around, they do turn into kind of mass holes. And, and they're not upset if you call them that. They know that, look, we get it on the road, we get to be much more offensive drivers and cutting people off. And maybe, maybe a finger flies here or there, a pinky or a thumb or something else. But I gotta say is as much as they can really frustrate you and scare you when you're driving around the state, they're actually quite friendly. And so you might have, they might have flicked you off, you know, two towns back, but you bump into them in the bar and they're like, hey, what's up? Let's grab a pint. So, so don't get too freaked out, but do realize you need to have your head on a swivel when you're driving around Massachusetts, whether you're on the highway or the back roads, because people are a bit more offensive when they're driving versus defensive. Now, another thing I think you should know and, and sadly know about when you come to Massachusetts is don't expect to hear that Boston accent all the time. I mean, you will hear it occasionally in Boston. I mean, I'm not saying it's not there, but it's not like they do it in the movies where every third person has it, especially when you're getting out of Boston and Western Massachusetts. You're not going to have too much of that, okay? I'm sorry, but it's the truth. Now, another thing I think you need to know about the people here is, you know, when you talk about New England, just in general, they talk about this thing called the New England Shield. Like people kind of put a shield up and they don't want to, it seems like they don't want to meet people. They don't want to get interacting with people. But I have to tell you is don't let that New England Shield stop you from getting to know the locals. Because once that shield comes up, they're some of the most friendly, helpful people when you are here. We have friends from around here. And even when we meet their family members, they're kind of like, well, hello, how are you? But then after a few minutes when they know that we're okay, they're like, oh, hey, did you eat at this restaurant? Because don't, because that place sucks. You need to go here instead. And they really do open open up and will help you as a tourist because I know in some states where you go around people may be friendly but they're not helpful here I'm not going to say they're super friendly but when you open they open up and that shield comes up they can be really friendly with giving advice and where to go because they're so proud of their state they're going to tell you the best places to go they're going to say go here on the Cape or go there in the Berkshires because they do have that pride so just don't let that New England shield stop you from getting to know the people here though I will say if you want to get the people against you <clears throat> Don't say bad things or cheer against the Patriots, the Celtics, the Bruins, or especially the Red Sox, okay? Because they love their sports here. They love their Boston sports. They love their Massachusetts sports. And the thing is, I know people think, oh, well, if I wear Yankee stuff, I'll get beat up. No, it's not that bad. They're not gonna beat you up if you're wearing a Yankees hat. Now, I won't say they won't say something about that, but you're not gonna cause any problems. And I know for me, I'm a St. Louis Cardinal fan. And the last time I was here, I, you know, it was sunny, so I was wearing my St. Louis Cardinal hat. And people were like, hey, thanks to the World Series. I'm like, hey, you're welcome. <laughs> so, you know, they do have a good sense of humor with it. But yeah, they, they do love their teams here. The thing is, come in relation to that New York thing, I honestly think that the people in Massachusetts actually like or dislike Connecticut more than New York. So, so just, just something I noticed. So my next dump for you is don't call a frap a milkshake. So if you're not sure what a frap is, if you're outside of this area, a frap's a milkshake. You know, it's it's milk and ice cream and that's like made chocolate syrup stirred up and you've got yourself a chocolate milkshake. Here, it's called a frap, okay? If you ask for a milkshake, here in Massachusetts, you're gonna get like chocolate milk, milk with some syrup in it, stirred up. So, so have a heads up for that. And, and honestly, you want a good place to get a frap when you're driving around and you see these little stands or these little like hut restaurant -y looking things with a bunch of you know lawn chairs or or picnic tables outside don't don't not stop there okay don't pass up the roadside clam strip places or ice cream places here in massachusetts because the people love them and that's where you get your frapper that's where you get your ice cream but more importantly that's where you're going to get your clam strips my favorite food here in massachusetts Oh, it's so good. You got to get the clam strip. So don't pass up those roadside stands, okay? And I guess I should say is, you know, don't pass up some of the treats that are here. Those Boston baked beans, which you'll see as baked beans on the menu. Get them. They're like the super sweetest with molasses and brown sugar and pork in them. They're just so good. You're going to have that. Boston cream pie. Yeah, it's not really pie. It's a cake because it's, you know, sponge cake, sponge cake with vanilla cream in the middle with chocolate on the top. Oh, that's so good. Get yourself some lobster rolls, clam chowder. I mean, 
you will eat, don't worry, you will eat very well when you are here in Massachusetts. But I will say, don't expect to find the hard stuff at your local grocery store. Look, they've got great beer here and you can get the beer at the grocery store, no problem. But if you want to get something a little harder, like get some whiskey or something, you gotta go to the Packy, the package liquor store, that's where you're gonna get that, okay? So if you're gonna be staying here for a while and spending some time in Martha's Vineyard or in the Vineyard or on the Cape or whatever, and you wanna pick stuff up before you go, don't think you're gonna get it all at the grocery store. Now my next stone for you is, don't come to Massachusetts in the winter. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's cold and they get a lot of snow and it's it can be pretty brutal when you're here. I mean, fall, spring, summer, fantastic time to come. Plenty of months out of the year for you to enjoy this great state. But in the winter, I mean, we're talking snow over snow over snow with ice and it can be, it can be scary. It can be so much snow that you're like, I, I don't think we can leave the house, let alone would we want to leave the house. So do have a heads up for that. So if you have to come in the winter, bring plenty of winter clothes, you know, to stay warm. Um, also, if someone has scooped out a spot for their car, don't take their spot if they scooped out the snow, okay? Um, and then I think the last fun don't I want to talk about when you come here to Massachusetts is when you're outside of Massachusetts, don't believe everyone that says they're from Boston. Look, people know Boston when you say Massachusetts. I mean, do you actually know the Berkshires? Do you know some of the Worcester and some of the, maybe some towns in more farther west in Massachusetts? No, maybe not. You know, like I know Nantucket. I know Martha's Vineyard and Cape Cod and Boston and Plymouth. Um, yeah, yeah. Here's the thing. If someone says they're from Boston, they're probably not. Okay, they're probably from some other place around there, like like Swampskid. It's like, look, hey, Katie, you're not from Boston. You're from Swampskid. It's a totally different place, okay? But when you're outside of Massachusetts, very few people know the towns outside of Massachusetts, especially probably how we learned them in school versus how they're actually pronounced here. That'll throw people off. So make sure you just, you know, because oh, Boston, oh, what part of Boston, like the far west by, you know, North Adams and Adams of the Berkshires, we're from. So I think that's a fun thing to finish off on, but I wish you a great time here in Massachusetts. You wanna know like Don'ts of Boston? We got a video on the Don'ts of Boston. We've got Eats of Boston. Jocelyn, well, I actually filmed it on Jocelyn's channel. We have what you should eat when you come here to Massachusetts, but they're all on our website at waltersworld.com. And I wanna say a special thank you for our patrons and members who've helped support us and make these videos possible. If you wanna find out how you can help us keep making these honest, fun travel videos, go to patreon.com slash waltersworld to find out more. And I'll say bye from here in Boston, Massachusetts.